What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to replace a glow plug controller on a 7.3 IDI diesel. If your truck won't start, then you got a few options. You either got air intrusion, which means one of these is leaking air. One of these injector lines has air. And no, that's pretty easy to tell because you can see fuel around one of the injectors, right? Second is the glow plugs. And I just replaced those and that didn't fix it. Third is the solenoid or the control module. And I just figured I'd replace them both instead of trying to fiddle fart around with just replacing the solenoid and then seeing if that fixed it and then replacing the the control module so I just bypassed the step of checking to see if it was only the solenoid and I just replaced the whole thing because it's just easier and faster so here we have the old controller here's the new controller I'm gonna show you how this is set up uh, for a glow plug button right because um, we did away with the factory uh, glow plug heater or whatever it is I don't know what it's called but we got a button now for the glow plugs so they only stay on when the buttons press in so this truck was previously set up this way so I'm gonna show you how to how it's set up okay so first things first you don't need the white wire and you don't need this blue wire right here so both of those will be basically discontinued you can just leave the plug on there and you can cut this white wire off and put it back there so first things first we are going to attach these two blue wires which where uh well you can see this one plugs into that plug right there see the plug it's going to go on this terminal right here same with this other blue wire right here gonna go on this corner post right here and we're gonna put this nut back on here like so okay we're gonna snug that down in a second. That is a size three eighths. Now we're gonna attach the red wire to this back, this terminal right here. Now we have these yellow wires right here. These are the always power. They're gonna go right on that terminal. Size half inch. We're gonna loosen up this back one right here so we can put the ground on it. Don't drop that nut down in there. goes right on there just like that put this on my hand okay snug her down snug power down all right now we want to connect this is another ground right here 
the, the black wire coming out of the bottom of the controller is just the ground wire. I already have a ground here, so I'm just gonna plug that in. It's just connected to the bottom of this. It's just the ground. Okay, now let's get that small socket on here again. And snug down that red one. Snugged. I can't remember if I did the blue one. Let's snug this one down. Okay. Okay. Okay, all the wires are snugged down. Now we gotta put this controller right there. And that's gonna be 7 sixteenths size bolts. There's two of them, one on each side. The main thing you have to remember here is here's how you test to see if this is bad basically and that thing is supposed to have a cover on it and the yellow wire is always hot so just keep that in mind when you're jamming this thing back there And I'll show you how to test. Here's a quick way of diagnosing the issue. Okay, so I had a problem before with starting the truck. It wouldn't start unless you use like starting fluid or something. So the best way to know if you need to change your solenoid or your glow plugs or the uh control module is you turn your truck on put the key in and you put it on the on position okay now see the battery voltmeter you can see where it's sitting right i'm gonna press the glow plug button and we're gonna see if it moves oh yeah see how far it went down four five six seven eight nine ten okay see it go back up now let's see if it starts she wants to oh she did okay let's do the glow plugs again so we'll do five seconds two three four five you can see it's moving a lot Almost at it. Right, let's do the glow plugs again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. She wants to. There we go, fellas. I got a little bit of air intrusion because I uh, replaced one of the one of the caps. I'll show you what I replaced. So that's why she was so hard starting. She's still running a little rough because there's some air in there. Um, okay, I'll show you. I just replaced uh, this vacuum cap right here for the fuel line. 
So the old one was uh, rotten and it was uh, leaking out fuel. I know it's over here somewhere. Oh, there she is. Ugh. So this little cap right here, you can see, it's got a hole in it. She was leaking. She was sucking in air. So the main thing is, is you know when your glow plugs are working because the voltage really drops. You can see it really apparent. Um, if the voltage is not dropping, then the glow plugs are not kicking on. I mean, there's just no, that's just what it is, you know? So I knew it had to be the solenoid or the control module because um, I had just replaced the glow plugs. And, you know, typically, if you have a system like mine where it's just the button to push, uh, even if you have one or two bad glow plugs, you know, the other six should easily help it start up. Um, but I know, I knew it wasn't the glow plugs because the voltage was not dropping like it was supposed to. So it had to bend the solenoid and that's what, you know, the solenoid or the control module. But as you can see, uh, just replace this bad boy and then it, there it is, you know, no problem. Solenoid's like 25 bucks. If you buy the whole thing already put together, it's like a hundred bucks or something. Uh, I'll try and leave a link in the description for it for any of you that are trying to figure out uh, what's wrong with your truck. Anyways, leave a comment, a like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.